we come to sitting cross-legged if you want to if you find that difficult by all means just sit on a cushion or sofa or chair if easier but this is best done seated so i'm on a yoga block don't worry if you haven't got a yoga block you can simply as i say use a cushion a nice plump sort of quite hard cushion not too squishy so it can help to keep your spine tall okay and we're going to do a nice seated twist here perhaps with the cap so we're going to sit tall just roll your shoulders back let's just take a moment here just take five deep breaths okay so let's arrive in the space together i always call it a little bit of breath space and it's just a moment really from your last class to this one just to be quiet and still just contemplate the day and just take a few deep breaths here. Breathing in. Breathing out. And don't try too hard with that breath. If you want to breathe through the mouth rather than the nostrils, that's absolutely fine. Again, whatever's comfortable for you. Keep that spine tall. And just take three slow breaths for me, okay? Join me in taking just three slow breaths here. And just breathe in gently and breathe out fully. Breathing in, breathing out. Just take another deep breath in and out if you can. And then open the eyes, relax. Okay, so just a little moment of breath space. Now we're sitting cross legged because we're going to do a twist here. And we're going to take our right hand. So you take your right hand to your left knee. So that's your right hand to your left knee. And your left hand goes behind you. And still sitting tall and looking forwards, we're going to breathe in here and twist to the left. Okay, so looking somewhere over that left shoulder gently. And as you look over the shoulder, just take a deep breath in and out. And then breathe in again. And as you exhale, you just come back to the center. I'm going to try the other side. So that's the left hand now resting on the right knee. The right hand goes behind. And again, looking forwards just to keep the spine tall for a moment. Twist from that low back. And now you're looking somewhere over your left shoulder. Just take a deep breath in and out here. And then we breathe in. And we exhale and come back to center. And we'll do that again. Right hand to the left knee, left hand behind, look forward, sit tall, take a breath in. Use the exhalation again to twist to your left. Hold your breath in. When you're ready to exhale, you come back to center. Left hand on the right knee again. We're going to twist to the right, looking over the right shoulder, taking a breath in. Twisting gently. Exhale, come back. Well done. Okay, we're going to cross the legs over the other way now. Just do a twist again. So, crossing the ankles over the opposite way. Right hand on left knee, left hand behind, sitting tall, breathing in. And as we breathe out, we look over that shoulder. We inhale again. We exhale, come back to center. Once more on the other side, left hand on the right knee, right hand behind, sitting tall, we breathe in. Breathing out, looking over the shoulder. Breathing in again. Exhale, come back and relax. Brilliant, well done. So then we're going to shake the legs out because they may feel a little bit tired after being scrunched up. Let's give them a good shake. And then we come off our blocks or cushion, put them to one side, and we'll do some cat cows together, okay? So I'm going to pop my hair up. There we go. We come onto all fours like a tabletop here. Keep your wrists underneath your shoulders. Aim to have your knees and feet hip width apart so you resemble a sort of tabletop here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do eight rounds of cat 
counselor who said I'm gonna breathe in, chin to chest, pull the tummy muscles in. Exhale, dip the spine and look at you. We're gonna inhale again. Bring the chin to the chest and arch the spine, just like an angry cat. Pull the tummy muscles in softly. Keep those elbows nice and straight. As you inhale, look forward. And we keep going. Breathing in. Breathing out. We're going to do three more, okay? Here we go. Nice way to warm the spine and the back muscles. This pose helps to improve the circulation in the spine. Two more, breathing in. Breathing out. Do one more, inhale, arch the spine, gently like an angry cat. Exhale, can you manage one more? Let's do one more together, here we go. Last one, breathing in, chin to chest. Breathing out. And then you might want to just sit back for a moment and shake out the hands, okay? Because that's quite a lot of loading, isn't it, on our wrists? So make two loose fists if you wish to. And just make some little rotations in one direction and then the opposite direction and shake it out gently. Great, okay. Now I'm gonna come into a downward dog. I hope you can join me. So I'm just gonna take off my socks, okay? And we're coming on to all fours again. Here we go, we've got the cat joining us. Hello, baby. We tuck the toes under, we're back in that all four shape, and we're going to go up slowly. Now, don't worry if your heels don't touch the floor, it doesn't matter. Bend the knees if you need to, and we're going to walk the cat. Oh, yes, walk the cat or the dog. Inhale, pad one heel back, exhale, pad the other back. Now, keep those arms strong, look towards your knees, breathing in, breathing out. We inhale and we exhale. Now, don't worry again about pads touching the floor. Just keep the arms strong, the breath relaxed. Do what you can. One or two more. Padding one heel back as we inhale. Padding the opposite heel back as we exhale. Our arms are strong. We gaze towards our knees or upper thighs. Brilliant. Okay. Now from there, have a go at walking your feet slowly towards your hands. And then we're going to hang out here. So we're going to keep the knees soft, hold on to alternate wrists or elbows if we can. Knees are soft and bring the crown of the head towards the floor. So we're working our hamstrings, our backs of our legs. Do keep your knees bent if you need to, don't worry. Look towards the knees. And aim for three or four deep breaths. Take some nice deep breaths. Again, keep a micro bend in those knees to protect your low back. Holding on to alternate elbows. Let the crown of the head come down. And if that's comfortable, stay for three more deep breaths, okay? But do keep your knees bent if you need to. Hinging forwards from the hips here. This is a deep forward bend, so go gently, breathe deeply. I'm going to release the hands, bend the knees, chin tucked in, and rise up slowly. Rise up nice and slowly with soft knees all the way to standing. And then when you come up, very gently, let's stand into Dasana, okay? So the feet are apart. I'm just going to oh, take a layer off. I'm warm now. Feet hip width apart. Toes and ankles facing forwards, so palms facing forwards. And just enjoy standing and breathing. 
and take five deep breaths here with me. So the aim is just to softly gaze ahead as if you were looking towards an imaginary horizon ahead of you. Our feet are just slightly apart, toes are soft and long, and we spread the weight ideally evenly across the feet. So just actively aim to spread the weight across the feet. Palms are facing forwards. That helps to drop the shoulders away from the ears. And it just gives us a moment to pause, think about our posture from head to toe. And we can almost use it like a standing meditation, quietly just tuning into the breath, being very aware of posture. Gaze ahead and just stand and breathe for two more deep breaths if you can. And release the palms, shake it out. Well done. Okay, so it's, I know that's difficult to stand and breathe, but it just gives us a moment to think about our posture and take some deep breaths. So it's just a pause in between the rest of the poses. Okay, so we're going to try now a little balance, and then we sort of revolve all the way down. So we start to do those poses again, sort of from coming up to going down. Okay, so without hurting the cat. Let's have a go at the balance. Now, just simply going to stand again, spread the weight across the feet, and just come up onto the ball of the right foot. So you stack all the weight into the left leg, and just practice raising the right foot, placing it on the left foot. Now, I'm gonna naturally wobble, so it's quite a good idea to just take your hands whoop, to your hips, roll the shoulders back, gaze ahead again, eye level, you're looking forwards. And see if you can hold that for breath in, and the breath out. And we come back onto both feet. We stack the weight into the right leg, come up onto the ball of the left foot, and rest that left foot on top of the right. And again, maybe on the hips to steady. As you look forward, simply take the breath in, and the breath out. Brilliant, okay. And then come back. So that's a great way to start, isn't it? And I always say, if you're waiting for the kettle to boil and you can just hold on to the kitchen sink, something steady, and have a go at your balances, they get easier with time. So don't lose, lose weight or heart. So we come on to the opposite side. So again, weight into the left leg. Now this time, just see if you can bring the sole of the right foot to rest on the inner left thigh. If that's too strong, take the right foot back and rest it on top of the left foot, okay? So what we're trying to do here is keep this right knee as open as we can, but make sure you're not pressing into the left knee. Have the sole of the right foot just below the knee. Hands on the hips, we gaze ahead. And this time, if you wish to, you can try and bring the hands into the prayer position as you look forwards and just take one or two deep breaths. You will naturally wobble just as I'm doing. So don't worry if you wobble, you just come back to Tadasana and you have a go on the other side. So we're going to switch sides now, weight into the right leg, bend that left knee, bring the sole of the left foot to rest on the inner left calf. And again, as best you can, aim to keep that left knee nice and open. Either hands on the hips or having you go bring the hands into the prayer position in the center of the chest. Gaze ahead and just notice which leg feels easier. Definitely one does, doesn't it? This leg feels slightly easier for me. And just notice your left and right differences. Take a few breaths. And release. Well done. Shake it out again, yogis. That's it. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to come back down and do all of that again. So imagine that from the twist, from cat-cow, down dog, forward bend, we come up to standing and try our balance. And now we come back down to downward dog, a little pause, and then we'll do a nice twist. And I'll aim to finish at 20 past so that we get five minutes of lovely relaxation in, okay? So very gently, if you want to try that balance once more, here we go then. A little bit stronger if you want to. Remember, if it's too strong, take one foot on top of the other and just do the gentle balance if you so wish. And as I bend this knee, I'm now going to bring the sole of the foot to rest on the inner left calf. 
If you've got a slippy like on like me, it can be challenging. Hands come back into the prayer position and we hold and breathe. If that's too tricky, just slide that foot down and rest it on the inner left calf instead, where we just were. Find a point of focus ahead and do remember to take one or two deep breaths and release. And let's try the other side. So weight goes into the right leg. I'm going to bend this left leg, bring the sole of the foot up to that right leg. Whoops. Keep that bent knee open. Hands back in prayer. Gaze ahead. And again, just notice those left and right differences that we all have. That's it. Just noticing the differences there. See if you can take another deep breath in and out here. But again, you can use the back of the chair or go to a wall and, and try this balance if you wish to. There's lots of variations and lots of ways to explore. I'm going to release. Try and release gracefully and relax. So I said we were coming down. So now coming back into downward dog on all fours, I tuck the toes under and I raise up slowly. So I'm back into downward dog, come into it gently, keep the arms strong and spread the weight across the hands evenly. And don't worry if the feet aren't touching the floor. Let's walk the dog together by padding one heel back on the inhale Opposite heel back on the exhale. We breathe in, we breathe out. We inhale and we exhale. And we go nice and slowly. Doesn't matter where the heels are in relation to the pose, just do what you can. Breathing in, breathing out. Padding one heel back on the inhale. That's it, one on the exhale. Gaze towards your upper thighs, but keep those arms strong. Now, when you're ready, but only when you're ready, start to think about coming back onto all fours. Well done. And let's sit back for a moment. Sit back on the heels if you can. Bring the palms together and have another little bit of breath space here. Gaze softly and quietly ahead and just enjoy three or four deep breaths. It's just a pause and exploration of the breath. A moment just to pause and be. Let's take one, maybe two more deep breaths here. The spine is tall so the energy can move through you. Quietly just tuning into and having a little breath space. Well, let's try a nice back stretch now. So do grab a cushion or block, separate the knees and keep your buttocks close to your heels if you can. And we'll go for child's pose and a nice stretch with the arms if you want to take it further. So I take my block in front of me and remember you can use a cushion as long as your head has some sort of headrest. That's key here. Knees apart, big toes touching. And I take the arms forwards, forehead down, and this gives my spine the chance to stretch. If that's too strong, you can of course bend the elbows. You'll still be getting a nice upper shoulder and upper back stretch, and it is a gentler stretch. So finding what works for you. And take five deep breaths. So just enjoy the stretch from the spine. We've opened the hips. Big toes touching, so our belly is soft and our hips open. Just enjoy three more deep breaths in your own time.
and then slowly, slowly walk your hands back all the way up to sitting. Roll the shoulders back, shake out the hands if you need to, remove your block, and we'll go into our twist now. Let's see how we're doing for time. Uh, it's just 10 past. So we're going to do a twist just on the right side, and then we're going to come up into bridge pose, and then we're going to do a twist on the left side. And that way we'll be working the spine a bit more sensitively. We're going to work for 10 more minutes and then go into relaxation, okay? I have a little friend here as well who wow, just always likes to be the little diva of the show, don't you? Yes, because you are. You are the star of the show. You are. Okay, so here we go. I'm trying to do a twist with a cat on the mat. Okay, we've already done cat. We have. So what I want you to do with this one, if you can, is to take your feet quite wide, about as wide as your mat, either side of your mat. If you haven't got a yoga mat, but you've got a towel, then just go about the width of the towel if you can. And if you haven't got a towel you're using the carpet, just take the feet double to hip width apart, so a bit wider than the hips. So here we go. So keep your knees and feet wide apart. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pop the cat then. We take the arms to shoulder height, and we're going to breathe in and just lower the knees down to the left. And then we're going to bring them up. And we're going to aim to lower them down to the right. Bring them up. And so it's almost like a pair of wiper blades on the car. We inhale, lower them down to the left, keeping knees and feet wide. We inhale, come up. And we exhale and lower them both down to the other side. And we come up. So we keep going, breathing into one side, just as far as they'll fall without straining. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower them down to the other side and come up. Okay, let's leave the twist for now. We'll come back to that. Let's now come into bridge. So we keep the knees bent. This time the feet are about hip width apart. So bring them in and have your heels as close to your buttocks as you can. We're going to press the backs of the hands and the arms into the floor alongside our body. And then we're going to finally Tuck our chin in towards our throat so that the back of the neck is nice and long and in line with the spine. Now the aim here is as I breathe in to lift my hips towards the ceiling really slowly. There we go. Nice and slowly coming up, pressing the backs of the hands into the floor and lifting up. Now it doesn't matter how far you come, just as long as you're not straining your thighs or legs and not moving the head at all. The chin stays tucked in, head and neck stay where they are. Press the backs of the hands into the floor to lift up further if you can, but don't strain. And see if you can hold that for several deep, fluid breaths. Okay, so the breath is relaxed and deep. Now I'm going to breathe in, and as I exhale, I slowly lower my spine and my hips all the way down, really slowly, peeling the spine back down. Fantastic. Okay. And then very gently, again, make sure the feet are as wide apart as your mat. And let's go again. Let's inhale, lower the knees down to one side. Bring them back up. Lower them again down to the other side. Bring them up. Let's do that again. Breathing in, breathing out, lower them down to one side. Inhale, bring them up, lower them down to the other. Do that once more on each side. It's just an extra little stretch and massage for your spine. Okay, well, now let's hug the knees in. Give ourselves a little cuddle here. And this helps to massage our internal organs. So it's like giving yourself a big internal hug. 
and also squeezing the thighs in and rocking is really soothing for our low back. Okay, so if you've got low back pain, it's going to have to soften and remove some of the hardness and stiffness there, particularly if you've been sitting a lot. And I know you're studying a lot, so this can just help to take away some of that low back pain that we get when we have to sit for long periods of time. Okay, let's go a bit crazy. Let's raise the legs and just jiggle and wiggle the arms, the hands. I call this the demented bumblebee or the demented blue bottle. Just shake, let everything go. Any unspent energy, any tension, just wiggle and jiggle it out. Well done. And bring the legs in. And then we're going to just see if we can come up and roll back. See if you can do that several times. It's a really good massage for the spine again. So going back and forwards and back and forwards once more. Don't worry if you don't come up. It's just a lovely massage for the spine. There we go. And, you know, it's just a bit of fun doing that as well, but really nice for the hold of the spine and go backwards and forwards, it's a massage. Okay, but it's time for us to go into relaxation. You may not have felt like you've done a lot, but I'm just adding up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's 17 poses. Remember we did some of those on the left and right as well. So you've probably done about 25 poses in just a short space of time, but we've opened and energized the body a little more and softened some of the hardness, hopefully. Well, we're going to lie down now, and I'm just going to turn one of these lights off so they're not quite so harsh here. There we go, a little bit softer. And we're going to lie down for relaxation now. So if you need to grab a blanket or some socks or a fleece, then do so now, okay? There we go. Trying to make it a little bit softer. And if you've got some lights at home um, that you want to turn off or turn on, but a bit softer or even light a candle, and that's quite nice. And what it does, it invokes a nice, soft, gentle mood for relaxation, because this is your time, okay? So let's lie down. And I'm just going to find a block, or in my case, a cushion for underneath. And I'm gonna pop my socks on, so you may want to as well. We finished a little bit early in the yoga, but that's so that you have a couple of extra minutes to just lie down. And we're going to do what's called a mini yoga nidra. And the mini yoga nidra is just going through different body parts, not all of them, but the major points of the body. And just our intention is to soften, release, and relax these areas. So I'm just going to shut one window and then do lie down and join me for relaxation. Okay, and grab some water if you need to. So here we go, let's lie down. Now, whether you have your knees bent, if that feels more comfortable for your lower back, or whether you extend the legs, just take a moment to make sure you're really comfortable here. Turn the feet out, and what's useful is just to lift the head and go lying down and make sure you're in a relatively straight line, okay? You're happy that you're in a relatively straight line. And then tucking the chin in, we're gonna turn the palms uppermost so they're away from the body. And the reason we turn the palms up is they help to open the chest, which helps in turn with our breathing and dropping the shoulders away from the ears is also releasing and relaxing. The feet are falling out, feet hip width apart, and just letting the heels flop. And then when you're ready, tucking the chin in so the back of the neck is long and gently closing the eyes. Let's first of all just take a moment to focus on our breathing. When we breathe in, we may feel the chest and belly subtly rising. So as we inhale, the breath subtly lifts us. And as we exhale, the breath gently sinking back down. As we inhale, we subtly lift. And as we exhale, sinking heavier downwards. 
Let's just focus and take a few deep breaths here, allowing that breath to relax now, allowing the breath to settle. Now let's take our awareness gently to the hands, relaxing all of the fingers on both hands. Relax your palms and allow your fingers just to curl a little bit. So in this very soft gesture of receptivity, the hands, the fingers softly relaxing. Allow the backs of the arms also just to rest feeling heavy, on the floor, so our arms just resting and feeling heavy on the supporting floor. Both legs feeling heavy. Let's take the awareness down to the feet and allow the feet to fall out to the side. Allow your toes, let's give them a wiggle and just soften and release the toes as best you can. Allow the feet, ankles, and the legs to become heavy as they rest on the supporting floor. Both hands, both feet, all the fingers and all of the toes resting gently on the supporting floor. Backs of the arms, backs of the legs also becoming heavy as they too rest and release, dropping down into the floor. Take your awareness now to your shoulders. Allow your shoulders to softly rest on the supporting floor. Take your awareness to your collarbones as if they too could softly release into the floor. Take your awareness to your belly and perhaps notice the rise and the fall of the belly as you breathe in and gently breathe out. Perhaps noticing how the belly rises on the inhale and gently falls on the exhale. And remembering that that movement happens spontaneously of its own accord. Take the awareness now to the chest, perhaps feeling a gentle lift on the inhale and a gentle fall on the exhale, noticing the chest subtly move up and down as you breathe in and gently breathe out. Belly and chest rising gently on the inhale, falling on the exhale. Now take your awareness to your face. Allow the face to soften. Allow the eyes to be closed quietly. The lips gently curled in a smile, a soft smile. The cheeks relaxed, eyelids relaxed. Even the nostrils relaxed. Head and scalp relaxed. The whole face softening and releasing as we continue to breathe in and gently breathe out. Take the awareness to the back of your body, the back of the head, the backs of the arms, the entire whole length of the spine back of the buttocks, backs of the thighs, all the way down to the calves and even the backs of the heels, backs of the arms and hands, the whole 
back surface of your body resting on the floor. Allow the back of the body to give itself to the floor, softly releasing into the floor. And let's enjoy just five more slow, even breaths here as we continue to softly rest, rest and relax the whole body now. And as you breathe, be aware that every single breath benefits every single cell in your body. Breathing in, gently breathing out. Just enjoy one or two more deep breaths here as you continue to relax and let your body be quiet and still. So when you're ready, just enjoy another deep breath in and out here. Start to become aware of again of the body lying quiet and still on the supporting floor. And that we are now coming to the end of our practice, the end of our relaxation. Let's begin to move the fingers and toes once more. Give them a little stretch and wiggle into your fingers and toes, opening them and closing them gently. Perhaps making some little rotations with your wrists and your ankles, removing any extra stiffness there. And then stretching the arms overhead if you wish. Bring the legs together, flex the toes towards you and push the heels away, lengthening and unfolding. Stretching now into the whole body. Just take one or two deep breaths as you lengthen and stretch into the whole body. Whole body. And as you exhale, just bring those arms back down, bend those knees, hug them into the chest again, and just roll, give yourself another sweet hug. Take a moment to just notice how you now feel compared to when we started. How do I now feel? And when you're ready, open the eyes if they're still closed. Give yourself a moment just to come back. And then rolling gently onto one side, coming up. And let's sit quietly just for a minute. We ran over a little bit, sorry about that. Hope you enjoyed your relaxation. Let's just take a deep breath in together. Bring the hands to the prayer position. Take a moment to wish yourself well, particularly wish your body well for all it's enabled you to do today. And may your body continue to serve you well. Om Shanti Peace. Go well. Have a lovely evening. Bye for now. Thanks for joining me. Bye from Tiger as well.